everybody. Welcome to my channel, or if you've been here before, welcome back. This is Brittany from Brit's Big Plans. And today I'm going to be planning my month of January, as well as the first week of this planner, which would be December 26th through January 1st. So as you can see, I have added a few things in here already. We've got um, some of my days off from work. I am a teacher, so we have teacher work days and um, a holiday here. And then we have a few of the fun holidays that I got from, these stickers are from the Coffee Monsters Co. And well, we got to get started. So the first thing that I would like to write down is I've got some basketball games. Um, I am a basketball coach, so I am going to be writing those games in. So I'm going to be using this um, Food Aid Touch brush pen to add in our games. So there are all of my basketball games written in and because I have these really fun stickers from Moody Cats Design Co, I'm going to be giving us a little pop of fun on these days. Not all of the games, but you know, get some stickers in there. Ooh, I missed a day. There we go. So we've got a few basketball stickers in here and that is all good to go. The next thing that I wanted to add is there are a couple of birthdays in my family. So I'm gonna pull out my weeks to make sure that I have the correct days. We've got one on the 6th and one on the 30th. All right, and I'm going to be using, this is my Twisby Eco with the rose gold and white. I'm gonna be using this. It is inked up with the Diamine Holly. And this is just a beautiful pen and a beautiful, beautiful ink. If you've never seen this particular ink, it is a gorgeous deep green with that lovely little red sheen. So absolutely perfect for a little birthday celebration. Um, while that is drying, I'm gonna give us a little bit of decoration here. Oh no, I tore my washi. Well, okay then. As you can see, my washi tape was being very rude. Right, and I find that January is a very, I mean, it's definitely like the heart of winter. So I feel like this pale blue is kind of the perfect color to go with this month. But it's also a celebration of the new year and all of the new beginnings that are coming. So I think we need a little bit of this lovely shiny silver tape. So the blue tape that I just put on is from a collection of Van Gogh tapes. I believe this is his maybe almond blossom, I think is what the painting is called. 
but I believe this is from the washi tape shop and they have a set of multiple Van Gogh paintings. And then this one is of course, as you might, you might guess with the silver, it is from Simply Gilded. Okay, so the next things that I need to add, I have a couple of doctor's appointments. So I'm going to add those in with my Pilot Vanishing Point that is inked, um, it is a fine tip and it is inked with um, Noodler's Ink Heart of Darkness Black Ink. So I have a doctor's appointment on the second. And then I also have a doctor's appointment on the 12th. Okay, I've got that in. I am getting a new little nephew on um, December 30th. So I'm going to go and visit and meet him for the first time over this long weekend that we have here. So I'm going to celebrate that by putting some of this beautiful mountain washi tape from Simply Gilded. It's a beautiful tape here um because they live in the mountains so i wanted washi tape and this is the washi tape that i got all right and i actually don't know what his name is going to be my brother and his wife have a short list of names that they are considering but um they have not decided on one yet so I am not going to write anything on this because our code word for him right now, since he doesn't have a name, is Jimothy. And I don't want to write Jimothy since that's not going to be his actual name. So I'm going to go meet my nephew on that weekend. Hmm. Ooh, and I do have the final thing that I want to add to final things that I'd like to add to this calendar and they are important. So I'm gonna pull out a pen with a beautiful ink. This is my Pilot Kakuno inked with uh, Ferris Wheel Press Tears of Sapphire. This is the medium tip. Two very important dates in the planner world is on the third, Gal Galen Leather will be reopening, which means that I can finally order my fountain pen travel case that I have been hoping to have. So I'm gonna put just a little heart there because I'm very excited about it. I've never owned anything by Galen Leather, but oh my goodness, is their stuff beautiful. All right, and the second thing that we need to be super aware of is on the 10th, the Coffee Monsters Co. is opening up their subscription services. So Helen, if you ever see this video, thank you so much for deciding to provide subscriptions and I am so excited. I'm hoping to sign up for the Pen Pals, which is the combination of the two um, lesser packages. So that is my goal. And I believe on her website it says 10 a.m. So I'm going to assume that that's 1 p.m. Because she's West Coast and I am East Coast, so Eastern time zone. Okay. Um, I believe that is everything that I have to put on this page. Now I'm going to flip over to my weekly page. All right, so the first thing on my weekly page, since I am in Tennessee for Christmas, I am going to denote my return to my place in North Carolina as soon as I find, there they are, a little Coffee Monsters Co. 
stickers here. And um, again, because I really just love this ink and this is kind of the first time I'm getting to use it, I am going to be using my uh, Twisby Eco again, so. All right. I haven't really decided how I'm going to use the bottom portion of my planner here. So since we're leading up to New Year's Eve, I have decided as soon as I find, there we go. I have decided that I'm going to, number one, decorate with this little celebration looking washi tape. It is gorgeous. And that is from Simply Gilded. Okay, I am struggling here. Okay, so I'm just going to um, separate off the bottom at a reasonable time during the day because I like to get to bed early so that I can wake up early. And I'm going to, I'm gonna cut off. Uh, I feel like that's too early. All right, we will cut off the day at 9 p.m., which of course is the 2100 on our military time here. So after 9 p.m. is where I will write some important things that are not time-based. So for example, I know I'll be writing my scripture studies down here, which I'll do here in a second. If there are any to-dos on specific days, I will also write that down here. But for now, it's just my scripture study. So this week leading up to Sunday, obviously, because this is the start of the new year, I'm going to be doing some pretty short Bible readings. I read a chapter a day of the book of Luke for the month of December, which there are 24 chapters chronicling the life of Jesus. And so the idea is you read all about Jesus leading up to Christmas and now we know why we celebrate, right? So that's what I was reading for the days leading up to Christmas, but I didn't really have anything planned for after Christmas. So I get some emails with a Bible reading plan and I decided to just grab those readings for the last few days of the month. And then I was going to just my plan is to read through the entire Bible in 2023, which is a little over three chapters a day. So that's what I'll be starting on Sunday. This is going to be the start of a brand new Bible study plan. I am going to do my Sunday Bible study in a slightly different color. Again, we're back to the Tears of Sapphire. And I'll be reading Genesis chapters one through three. I'm just gonna go in order. I have a Bible study book that goes in order, so I'll just be following along with that. Okay. What do I have? Oh, I do have, I do have a game night scheduled tonight at my cousin's house with the family. So I'm trying to find, trying to find a good sticker for that though. Hmm. I really just don't, maybe what I really need is 
a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoti, or maybe one of these Wobot and Friends characters. Let me see what we got here. Okay. Got all these Emoti heads. I kind of like this one with the stars for eyes. So that's option number one have these, which have nothing to do with anything. Oh, I've got this really fun little rock dino. No. Uh, well, looks like it's starry eyes there. All right. And that's going to be at six o'clock. So that's going to be game night at my cousin Bobby's. Perfect. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, I didn't add in. We have a um, basketball tournament these two days here. And then our next game is at five o'clock on Thursday. I do know that we are going to have practice at 11 o'clock on Friday. This is our pretty standard practice time over break. So we've got that and then, and then, the big celebration, and this this is gonna need one of these characters here, is my sister-in-law is scheduled for her C-section, which means at approximately 7.30 a.m. on Friday, December 30th, I will be getting my nephew. But again, I don't want to write it in because I don't want to write Jimothy and I don't have anything except for the code name. The final thing that I want to put in here, I, keep, I think I keep saying the final thing. This one actually is the final thing, I believe, is I want to mark in, this is a momentous occasion here, I am going to be uploading my very first ever YouTube video and I am it is my plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks planner and I am going to upload that on the well I'm gonna upload it before but I'm gonna schedule it to post on the first so celebration you know what celebration needs a pretty ink um, yeah let's go with this one so again with my holly ink like I am all set here. One thing that I do want to say is that I received the best Christmas present this year. So I received the holy grail of fountain pens. My dad uh, knows how much I like fountain pens. So he went and found me a Mont Blanc. So this is a vintage Mont Blanc. I have made a bit of a mess of the tip here. So it's really messy, but it is a, maybe a medium nib, um, Mont Blanc fountain pen. It came in this set originally. This is the only pen that works in here, but this set was $30 when the man originally purchased it, if that tells you how old this is, because I looked and the cheapest fountain pen on Mont Blanc's website right now is about $500. And they do actually have a solid white gold fountain pen on their website for $162,000, which is obscene. Do people actually write with these things? If you bought a $162,000 fountain pen, would you write with it? I mean, it's solid white gold with diamonds on it. I can't imagine even writing with it. 
I don't even know. But that is my good news for the day. And I just saw this washi tape sitting up here. This is from Wobots and Friends. This is, um, I don't know if it's their first washi tape they've ever released, but it's most definitely the first washi tape I've ever gotten from them. And I just realized that this is the perfect birthday slash celebration washi tape to put on little Jimothy's birthday. Okay. All right, so now that I've made a mess of my desk, this is my first week in my new Hobonichi cousin. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll come back for the next video. Um, until then, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Brit's Big Plans and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button and that bell for some notifications if you want to see more of my content. I plan on doing uh, playing with me's here and in my Hobonichi weeks and I'm even toying with the idea of doing some journal with me's because you know what These daily pages are pretty blank. So I'll be doing a lot of journaling um, I started this year in my first Hobonichi cousin and I my goal is to have this entire thing Totally full writing on every single page by the end of the year. So if you want to be here for that Please come back and I'll see you next time. Bye.